Look, I know the beef is old. I know they squashed it already. I know everybody done pretty much already forgot about it. But there's just something about this whole thing that doesn't sit right with me. So we gotta talk about it. All right, so check it out. If you haven't heard about the latest beef between Gideon and Pokemon, let me give you the rundown. What had happened was Gideon came up on a clip of Pokemon saying the N-word. Thank God, you ain't funny. He later went to one of Poke streams and saw she was playing Valorant and shit. He saw that he had more viewers than her and to flaunt it, he raided her stream and told the chat to spam L plus Ray ratio in her chat. Follow her? Follow her right now, y'all. Pokemon saw it didn't like it, put her chat on sub only mode and was so distressed that she ended the stream. I think the next day or so, she and a bunch of niggas reacted to it and said that Gideon was a bad man for sending his fans to harass Pokemon. I guess, like, I mean, if you squint your eyes a little bit and cock your head to the side, it could pass for harassment. But you'll see why I use that term so loosely in a second. Then they somehow came to the conclusion that what Gideon did was misogynistic for some reason. Misogynistic. Misogyny. I'm still confused, tell you the truth. Anyways, Gideon got banned for harassment. Pokemon was so distraught by some random niggas typing L plus ratio that she went private on Twitter. Gideon apologized, and that's the end of the beef. Now, if you have even the slightest bit of sense like me, you'll probably realize that this whole situation is the most <laughs> nigga <laughs> known to man. Like seriously, how much of a whiny baby do you have to be to get so bent out of shape over some random niggas typing L plus ratio in your chat that you end your live stream, go private on Twitter, then not react to the people who harassed you, but react to a nigga reacting to the person that harassed you. Then had the nerve to call Gideon misogynistic because newsflash guys, only women get harassed. And of course, he only harassed her because she was a woman. No other reason at all. Pokey, you gotta be the biggest baby the world has ever seen. There goes Pokemon, the biggest baby that ever lived. What a douche. <laughs> Think before you sleep was right. Pokemon really is the Karen of Twitch. No fun allowed. These niggas typed in L plus ratio and you and the rest of your simps is acting like he told his chat to type in some shit like, get back in the kitchen, woman. Get back in the kitchen. Y'all act like he told him to tell Pokemon to kill herself. I can like he went in chat talking about, you should kill yourself now. Now that would be harassment and his ban would be rightfully deserved, but not this huh. bro. This is baby stuff. Niggas in elementary school said worse huh. than this to me. If she was crying about L plus ratio, I couldn't even begin to imagine how she reacted to some kid in preschool calling her a poopy head. You're a poopy head. <laughs> With her trademark sickening forced positivity that essentially makes up her entire personality. She acts like a baby. No, literally, she acts like a baby all the time. Look at how she reacts when Gideon explains to her various simps that she isn't gonna let him hit no matter how much they rest to her defense when a big, bad, scary man dares disrespect their queen. I'm gonna break the fourth wall. And spoiler alert, she's getting dicked down every night by another nigga. Ew! I'm grossed out by that. Ew! I'm just... What? Grown ass woman, bro. I'm not even someone who talks about sexual things. Stop the cap. <laughs> Pokey, do I really gotta go back and read them cringe ass texts that you were sending to that nigga fed? I can't be the only one who notices this whenever Pokemon gets into some drama. Pokemon likes to talk down on people. Whenever some shit like this happens, she always likes to stand on people's necks and morally grandstand and constantly imply that she's better than that person. Like a Karen, basically. Look at how she responds to somebody that called her supporter BLM in the question. You don't support BLM. Your fans don't support BLM. Please stop putting on a fake face for the internet. Grow up. You're 22. You're an adult, bro. I'm 25, by the way. Well, fuck, you can't even Google. That's how I know you're so young. And not only do I support BLM, but I put my money where my mouth is. The amount of donations that I've made towards black owned businesses or BLM organizations, etc., etc., unlike these. Like weird little fanboys on Twitter. I don't just talk the talk. I fucking walk the walk all the fucking time.
Like that huh. makes her a better person or something. I'm sure Patrice Colors thanks you personally, Pokemon, for that contribution that you made to that million dollar house that she bought. Because if you really want to talk about it, anybody who truly cares about Black Lives would not support Black Lives Matter in the slightest. But this ain't the video for that. It ain't like the dude who said that was wrong. We all know major internet niggas don't do shit huh. like this because they actually care. They do it because it makes them look better under the public eye. She did the same huh. to It's a Gundam. I mean, look at the comment that she left on his video. I think it's really terrible that you use a tweet that you know is a joke to insult me and an innocent fan there are so many things to make videos and content around you can do better now i can't find it right now but let the record show that in one of the drafts of her comments she tried to put it's a gundam through to dr k for laughing at some tweets how condescending can you get and she was interacting with her twitch chat the entire time telling him to wait a minute pokey it's awfully peculiar that you'd be against rating another content creator because did you do the same thing that it's a gundam didn't you send your fans to dislike bomb his video and comment bad things on it because you were upset that he was laughing at some tweets? I think the only way people like this stop is if people like me and my community give them feedback, feedback <laughs> that this is not an okay thing to do. Oh, my bad guys. She did tell them not to harass him. Not attack them. And then immediately contradicts herself. But I had a little dislike and I say, this not cool. Kids, can you say hypocrite? Man, it's no wonder she has the word hypocrite banned on her Discord. Her ass probably got L plus ratio banned on there too. She also got mad at Gideon for calling her fans simps. Well, her and this other nigga. Guys will shame guys that watch girl streamers. Who the fuck is this nigga? But I'm not sure why, cause why else would anyone watch you, Pokey? Cause nigga, God, you ain't funny. funny. You aren't entertaining in the slightest. We all know the majority of niggas that watch you only do so because they think you're cute. Like seriously, have you ever sat through one of Pokemon's streams? That huh. is the most boring huh. known to man. Look at you right now, falling asleep. And what's even crazier is the fact that Pokimane ain't even that bad. She's mid. Pokimane? Nah, Pokey mid. Pokey mid, man. Man, Pokey mid, man. <laughs> Pokey mid, man, Pokimane. Pokey, Pokey, man. <laughs> I can't say that huh. with a straight face. Thank God. But the saddest part of all this is I was going to bat for my nigga Gideon so hard. I had his back like Shaq. Only for me to wake up one beautiful morning and see this. Ah! Gideon is sleeping with the enemy. He is behind enemy line. He has joined the Pokey Squad. Gideon, Gideon has, has folks. Folk. And on Black History Month, no less. Like, bro, come on. It's supposed to be our month. We can't catch no dubs this month. She got you apologizing like you messed up. Like, you was wrong. Just looking at this video is pissing me off, bro. Like, I legit almost punched my computer when I saw that thumbnail. And I know I've been saying it this whole video, but I've been working on this video on and off for about a month, and I'm still not over it. All the nigga said was L plus ratio. That's all he said, and all of this popped off. But why'd you have to make up with her, bro? She blew the whole situation out of proportion, got you branded a misogynist, called you and your fans incels. That was the worst offense right there. And got you banned off Twitch. Now, I know there's no concrete evidence that she got him banned, but I implore you to listen to my theory because the circumstances surrounding his band are very suspicious Thank God. now i wasn't born yesterday i know every company in the history of companies has favorites and plays the dirty game of favoritism but the way twitch plays it is very egregious people said pokemon got gd on banned from twitch now i can neither confirm nor deny that however i do find the circumstances surrounding gdon's band a bit suspicious let me explain i find it highly suspicious that gdon's 14 day ban got upgraded to a perma ban after Pokemon gave her take on the situation. It becomes especially suspicious when you hear how she addresses Twitch about Gideon being a Twitch partner. And I just... Like, is that really the kind of partners you want, Twitch? I don't understand. I feel like that's embarrassing, bro. I want to know, Twitch, show me the math for the 14-day special. I would just like to know. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 I'm gone, y'all. I'm gone, perma ban on Twitch coming soon. Here's something else suspicious coming from Pokemon herself. Watch this. So, uh, you like Twitch, huh? I like Twitch. You're gonna have to work on that redemption arc, but I can help you. Hold up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, 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 hey. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get this straight. So, Pokemon ain't got the power to get niggas off of Twitch, but she got the power to put niggas back on Twitch? You don't find that suspicious. Another example, a lot of people said Gideon got banned due to off-site behavior. Well, if he really got banned for off-site behavior, then Pokemon should have been banned a long time ago. I don't know about you, but I find it a little off that Gideon got perma-banned for something that Pokemon did as well. Pokemon sent her fans to raid into Gundam's channel with dislikes and comments and went so far as to get a sponsorship pool. She also pulled up Davsev's Instagram and roasted them in front of thousands of her fans, something that she got on Gideon about doing. Kids, 
can you say? Need I remind you that Twitch also judges their partners for breaching TOS off-site. Pokimane faced no consequences for what she did to Gundam, but Gideon types L plus ratio. I'm still not over that. Why are you this livid about L plus ratio? And gets permabanned and branded a misogynist. Thank God. Man. It's moments like these that make me miss Etika even more, man. Any true Joy-Con boy knows the three rules. No bitch niggas, no snitch niggas, no Twitch niggas. And in all my years of watching the Iceman, I never truly understood why Etika always had the rule, no Twitch niggas. But now that this beef is broken out, I finally understand it. Twitch niggas are terrible, and Twitch is an awful platform. I knew there was a reason why I never made a Twitch account, or if I did, I don't use it. But that's for one simple reason. Twitch niggas are weird. Case in point, this clip that I found while I was browsing YouTube. This clip alone exemplifies the weird Twitch nigga behavior I'm talking about. First subject, Emma, whatever the fuck that last name is. She be corpse husband or something. She got that stupid Jersey accent. I don't know why but it's sometimes, somehow it's better than everything else. Kind of like an IRL Harley Quinn. Now, when I first saw the clip, I just assumed it was her being weird in general because she got the bi-colored hair with the bang. So you already know that's just, that's crazy nigga attire right there. But then I took a closer look, Twitch nigga. Out here testing out a damn ball oh. collar for fun. She weird. Weird. Then you got Jay Schlatt, Twitch nigga. And it doesn't really surprise me that he's a Twitch nigga because only a Twitch nigga could do some freakazoid ass huh. like wearing mutton chops. Weird. Buddy. Random Asian woman. I don't know if she's a Twitch nigga or not, but weird by association. Then you got Minx. Twitch nigga. Matter of fact, fuck her being a Twitch nigga, she's Irish. That's weird enough. Look at her giving Emma these shocks with that sadistic ass look on her face. Weird, plus Irish, plus Butterface, plus her titties is hanging. Hey, I bet you still hit though. You damn right. Alinity, Twitch nigga, dog lover, animal abuser, divorce fraud committer. So I was like, no, hell no. So I married a Canadian and I came to Canada. <laughs> And then I divorced them. <laughs> Weird. Then you got Pokemon. Twitch nigga, hypocrite, queen of the simps, pale face, two out of ten, no ass. All you niggas calling Pokemon thick are sick. Weird. You're weird. And to think that Gideon was on Twitter saying that he wanted Twitch to unban him with the hashtag Twitch free Gideon. But I say fuck huh, that. Huh, Twitch and fuck huh. that hashtag. To the 15 people who are probably gonna watch this, I need y'all to spam the hashtag no Twitch niggas. The Iceman was right. Twitch is terrible. Huh. Twitch niggas. Nigga. In conclusion, Pokemon, you're a baby, both in the literal sense and the figurative sense. Gideon, you folded hard. Minx, stop being Irish. That's weird. This entire drama sums up why I cannot be a drama YouTuber. This video would have been uploaded way sooner had I just not done any research and just vented on this YouTube video for about 10 minutes and just uploaded it. That's why it takes me so long to upload videos because I promote quality over quantity. I don't just shoot out a bunch of videos just to get in that little algorithm so I can get some views with these mediocre ass videos I just put out. Anyways, that's about it. This video took me like a month to make. So leave a like for me. I also need you to leave a like for the Iceman Etika. May he rest in peace. That's about it. Uh, videos open.